Title, Prince Harry Ghosts Courtroom on Day 1 of Tabloid Tussle, Trading Paparazzi for Party. TLDR, Drama Alert. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, went AWOL on the first day of his trial against UK tabloids for alleged privacy breaches. Judge Timothy Fancourt was not amused. Harry's reason? Daddy duties and travel snafus due to security protocols. But was it enough to dodge the courtroom? Or did his no-show create more fuss than desired? In an intriguing turn of events, Prince Harry, our very own Duke of Sussex, traded the grey walls of a courtroom for, perhaps, pink birthday balloons at his daughter Lilibet's second birthday party. While he was officially supposed to take the stand on Tuesday, Judge Timothy Fancourt had instructed him to be there from day one of the trial. Now, we all love a party, but was missing day one of such a significant trial a wise move? Harry is no stranger to the limelight, being the key plaintiff in a privacy breach case against several UK tabloids, including the Daily Mirror. He claims these publications used illegal tactics to pry into his youth for story fodder. But this Monday, when it came time to face the music, Harry was missing in action. And surprise, surprise, the judge wasn't too thrilled about it. What do you think about Harry's decision? Were the tabloids spying or merely doing their job? According to Harry's attorney, his absence wasn't a royal snub, but rather a byproduct of hindered travel arrangements due to stringent security requirements. Not to mention the added pressure of being an on-time dad to his daughter, who just turned two. No one can deny that being a prince comes with its share of duties, but isn't a court appearance part of those responsibilities, especially when it's a case he himself initiated? Harry apparently made it to London after his daughter's party, but his lawyer states that despite being in town, he couldn't appear in court. The Daily Mirror's attorneys, who were all geared up to grill him about the articles he claimed were a result of dirty journalism, scoffed at this. One can't help but wonder, is Harry genuinely boxed in by circumstances, or is he strategically avoiding the grill? As this privacy breach trial continues, the world is keen to hear Harry's testimony and to see how he defends his claims against the tabloids. Today's actions have raised eyebrows, and the court of public opinion is undoubtedly curious to see if our royal protagonist will make an appearance on the second day. So, let's open the floor to you. Given all this, what do you reckon? Did Prince Harry have a legit reason for not showing up on day one of the trial? Or is this a strategic move on his part to avoid the harsh limelight of a trial that he started? Disclaimer, this news article is based on facts and does not provide any advice. It's not a substitute for professional legal or investment advice. The reader is encouraged to seek professional advice before making any decisions.